I'm putting my personal three-quarter ton van up for bid. When I bought it, it had 348,929 miles. So 349,000 miles. It was a commercial van, repoed. And of course, as you know, commercial vans are 99.9% .9 of the time very well maintained. And uh, that's why I bought it. It came when I purchased it with an auction guarantee with that many miles on it. So there's a reason behind it. They knew the vehicle was well taken care of. So I now have 360,000 miles on it. It is very clean. Three hundred and sixty two forty eight and I'm only selling it because I don't need the vehicle this big any longer because this is the extended one and there's nothing wrong with it um, it's got a blinker bulb out on the front or back so the blinker blinks fast that's and I just haven't had a chance to monkey with it but it starts up every time it is the flex fuel so you get your fuel for dirt cheap There's no check engine light, light, lights, like I said. Nice stereo system in it. Very clean. It was my personal vehicle for well, over 10,000 miles. I just got back from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, picking up a motorcycle out there. Flop, but it's got uh, about as close to new Transforce E-Load, E-Rated, e uh, Firestones HTs on it. I put those on when I got it. It's virtually rust free. Has the push guard in the front. New headlight on the driver's side. It's got a little damage here where they got it caught. And this cover's cracked right here. And it looks like they had replaced this fender at one time because it's uh, slightly dull. It's dirty, really dirty. I just haven't had time to clean it. But it's my personal, there's the other van that I purchased right there. That's the shorter version. Um, this one has the flex fuel, as I mentioned. So you'll save, I found the difference out. It's about 25 bucks, roughly, a tank full cheaper. This door open. Push in on the door a little bit. Just push in right there opens right up. These are the big doors. If you know the HTs or the uh, express vans, the doors open fully so you can get whatever in it you need. The back has the guard well lit inside. It has lots of lighting. Nice mat padded. And as I said, it was very well maintained. The I put a brand new Kurt hitch on the back underneath heavy duty it's the heavy rated Kurt hitch 10,000 pounder let's take her down the road it breaks like it should does everything it should do and like I said the only reason I'm selling it is because I need I don't need a vehicle this large anymore Great stereo in it. The AC blows ice cold. When I pick the vehicle up, it has the backup sensors on it too, so it'll tell you how many feet, when you back up close to something, it'll tell you how many feet you actually are away from it. The voice speaks to you. Um, has the 4.8 liter Vortec. It has brand new Valvoline full synthetic rear end fluid 10,000 miles ago it has the nothing but synthetic in it in the engine I will wash it up before we bring it up there it will pull like a dream it will take a heavy load and seems to not even squat has uh, the transmission fluids all been changed has the uh, 
Dexron, there's the blinker. When I tell you it blinks fast, it starts. <clears throat> but it has the Dexron uh, 6 in it for the transmission fluid. I changed all that stuff. I'm very... I'm a huge stickler on that. Let's kick it down. That's a uh, half throttle. It's got all the power you will ever need. And you can buy this van with security and uh, peace of mind and get a really nice looking van and make it even better than I did for cheap. It will go to high bid. So this is my personal van and uh, I'm sad to see it go, but again, it's got ice cold AC, it's got the towing package. Great tires, great brakes. Let's hit the brakes right here. See if you can watch it when I do it. I had to let off at a second there, I had a package in the seat. So there you go, folks. Guys, if you're looking for a great van that'll pull and haul, here you go. And it's big enough for an 11 foot chopper. I know. <laughs> so anyhow, there you go. Good luck to y'all. Have a great day. We'll go to high bid. All right, guys, I want to show you the oil pressure on this motor. Uh, you can see the temperature's at 210. It never goes over that. Ever. Um, and as I said, with the flex fuel, you will get it saved so much on your fuel bill. You can see it changing down here. Tachometer is at 600, and the oil pressure is right there. Now if I give it just a little bit of fuel, that's, that's uh, 1,500 RPMs, and it's over 40 pounds. I rev it, and it jumps right up there. So you'll have no worries with this vehicle. It'll last you a very long time. It's a Chevrolet. What do you want? You know. So all the fluids are synthetic, ready to rock and go, and it's got a newer air filter in it. Uh, I maintain my stuff great. Not selling it because there's anything wrong with it. Just selling it because I need something smaller, and it served its purpose and did great for what I was doing with it at the time. So good luck to you. All right, guys, we're driving down the road here in the van that uh, I told you about, the 2010 express van and we are actually pulling a trailer and a bee came in my window and you can see the other van in the back that's what's going to drive me back after i deliver this one so we're driving down the road it pulls it just fine it's got a lot of power good little truck big truck actually well, there you go All right, guys, again, we're uh, heading on down the freeway, uh, coming up on M6. As I said, we've got the van on the back here with us. And uh, the van I'm driving now is the one that's au being auctioned off. So just wanted to share this with you.